Our grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, and it weighed not a penny's weight more. It was born on the morn of the day that he was born. It was always his pleasure and pride, but it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, five seconds numbering, tick-tock, tick, but it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. He watched as its pendulum rocked to and fro. Many hours did he spend as a boy. In childhood and manhood, that clock seemed to know, and it shared both his grief and his joy. But it struck twenty-four as he entered through the door with a blooming and beautiful ride. But it stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock. Five seconds numbering, tick tock, tick. But it stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather said that of those he could hire. Got a servant so faithful he found For it wasted no time and had but one desire At the end of each week to be wound And it kept in its place with a smile upon its face And its hands never hung by its side But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man Slumbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, five seconds numbering, tick-tock, tick, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Yes, it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died.